Hey everyone, Kevin here. Now yesterday I spoke about my Rode Broadcaster. I just bought it and I got it delivered yesterday and I did a series of audio tests. I compared it with my Shure SM58 and one of the questions I posed in the video was, was this real or was it fake? Now the reason I asked that question is that I bought this from eBay. It was sold as seller uh, refurbished and there was a few things that made me unsure about whether it was a real microphone or not. One was the, the sticker here. It was basically, it was coming off, which, you know, I'm sure happens. But the serial number was written in black ink. The other one was the XLR pin. Instead of the pins being level, one was longer than the others. Now, I've actually looked at other pictures and it does seem that that does happen sometimes. And I believe the XLR issue, some mics do have one longer than others. So my initial concerns about it being fake, well, they were kind of lost when I figured that out and I, you know, I saw other microphones that had the same, the same setup, but it's not the microphone I thought it was. I, I spent a lot of time playing around with the gain levels and trying to get it all sounding right. Now, I think this is a fantastic microphone. I think the sound quality is amazing, but it's really hard to, you know, because it's a condenser mic, the high pass filter, uh, which is on, just checking there. Uh, the high pass filter does get rid of some background noises, but it's not as good as a dynamic mic in my eyes. Now, all of this comes down to your recording environment. And unfortunately, you know, it does pick up some hiss and buzzing. Now, as far as the hiss and buzzing, you know, some of it was coming from my laptop. Obviously, you know, this is plugged into the audio interface and things like that. There's going to be some sort of interference there. But I was looking at, um, you know, some audio engineer forums and they were talking about lots of different reasons why this could do this. Maybe it was kept in a, a dry area somewhere. Uh, maybe the capsules aren't working correctly. Maybe it needs soldered. Now, that is not something you would expect to happen with a new microphone. But I sent my concerns to the seller and the seller, to his credit, has been absolutely fantastic. Um... I mean, this is a good mic. I'll just point that out before I go on. This is a fantastic mic. The, the Broadcaster is a fantastic microphone. I can recommend it. It just, I just don't think it's what I'm needing, but that's maybe not right. It is what I'm needing, but I've got concerns. So what are my concerns? Well, it's not what I thought it was. I bought this as seller refurbished. And when you buy things from eBay, you can get it as new, Manufacturer refurbished, seller refurbished, and used. Now, when you buy something uh, that is seller refurbished, it's normally the company that did it, but normally the products are very new. You know, they're returns and they fixed something and they've sold it as seller refurbished. But that's not what's happening here. I, he said he was, he was really apologetic about it. He said he always believed it was original. He purchased one for himself over 10 years ago. He used to work for BBC Radio. He still uses them today. Um, it cannot locate. It cannot locate the paperwork or the warranty card. Um, so I've got no problem with the guy. The seller is actually a really, really nice guy. And if you ever watch this video, you know I apologise for any inconvenience. But I bought this. You know I bought this microphone under the assumption it was basically very. You know, at least within six months or twelve months old. That's what I assumed because everything else I've bought that's refurbished is always at most two years, but normally within the first year. And he said it's refurbished, but in my opinion, when you have had something for 10 or 11 years, it isn't refurbished, it's used. And I think it's mis-selling to say that it's refurbished. Uh, and because of that, because of, you know, I wasn't caring too much about the lack of warranty per se, if it was a new mic, but when I realized that this could be like he bought it 10 years ago refurbished this could be 15 years i don't know when the broadcaster came out but this could be 15 20 i don't know how old this is i really don't and um, but if he bought it that long ago you know the problems that i've got just now with the the, the humming and the, the hissing that i'm hearing it's maybe not coming through in the videos as much but i'm hearing um you know at first i thought it was the gain level but i'm hearing kind of buzzing hissing that i'm not getting with my other microphone i don't know if it's an electrical issue I don't know if it's something to do with my setup. I don't know if it's my laptop. I don't know. This is something I was going to try and work out. But the fact that this microphone is minimum 10 years old, but could be 15 years, 15 years old or much, much older, then I don't feel it's as good value as it was when I when I first bought it. You know, I paid 185 
when it retails for about 285 in the UK. I thought I was getting a good deal for a nearly new microphone, but for a microphone of that age, I realise microphones are different from laptops and other things, you know, they're kind of timeless in many respects, but things do fail, capsules fail, electrical things can, you, uh, can have developed problems over the years. So I'm going to accept his offer to return it and buy a different microphone. So I need to say goodbye to the road broadcaster. I don't have any negative opinion of the microphone. I could recommend it to other people who are, who are buying it. Uh, I just, I wasn't happy with the noise floor. I wasn't happy with the, the hissing and humming. Um, and again, this could be just me not setting it up correctly. So please don't take what I'm saying as face value. I'm not an audio expert. I just tell you guys what I think and what I experience. So moving forward, I'm going to send this back today to the seller who I think, again, I think the seller was a nice guy. I think he was just, um, I think he just shouldn't have used the term seller refurbish. So I'm going to send this back and then I'm going to look at the other microphones that I was looking at, um, like the Electro Voice RE320, RE20, Shure sure, SMB, SM7B, all these kind of microphones. I'm going to examine those again and then pick one. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you, you guys who watched my video uh, yesterday enjoyed the video, I will link to it below, uh, but I thought I would just, before I package this up, it was already hooked up and I was ready to record the video and when he replied, so uh, this was really just to tie up why I'm selling it, uh, why I'm returning it, sorry I'm not selling it, why I'm returning it, returning it to the seller, um, nothing against the Rode Broadcaster, I do think it is a high quality microphone, but you know, I was wanting a brand new microphone or one within, you know, the last year or two and I got a microphone that could be 10 or 15 years old. Still performs okay, but there's a couple of niggling problems that just wasn't, you know, it wasn't selling for me. So thanks for watching guys. Please do leave a comment below. I love hearing from you guys. You know that. And I'll speak to you all very soon. Take care.